Hello, my name is Yiting. I feel inspired to share with you a simple and effective way of balancing the hormones in the body. With hormonal imbalance, it is very intricate and complicated. One of the manifestations would be appearance of inflamed blemishes, often cystic blemishes, along the cheeks and down towards the neck area. Before we start, I'd like to offer you a perspective on the body. And we often think that we can treat, fix, improve the body. And while that is true to a certain degree in the superficial sense and the symptomatic sense, at the causal level, we aren't able to do anything at all. For example, we're not making the body breathe while we can select the types of food that we eat. We cannot will digestion to happen. It just happens naturally on its own. There is the intelligence that our body is connected to. And this is, you can call this the intelligence of life. It is the same intelligence that is causing the sun to rise up every day causing the seasons to be cyclical. And so when we approach well-being or improving the well-being of our body, rather than come with it with a hard, critical attitude of wanting to change what it is presenting, I invite you to soften and instead come into a humble openness to be open to the intelligence, the perfect intelligence that your body is already and always connected to. Before we start, I'd like to familiarize you with a few landmark points on your palms and hands. If you take a look at your hands, the first point is the base of the palm. If you have a feel just at the very base here, approximately here and here, you feel two little indentations, um, feels a little bit like dimples. And the second point I like to bring your attention to is this bone here, right at the base of your thumb. And then if you follow the line right down, there's another protruding bone here. I like to place my palms together and just rub them together. And this just warms up all of the reflex points of the organs, glands that is in our body, corresponding on our palms and fingers. To start off, we'll just massage the two little dimples at the base of the palm, left hand and right hand. Gentle pressure. This corresponds to the ovaries and the uterus in the female. And then Going through this line here, which starts at the midpoint between this bone and this bone right here. So we just press along this line, which then continues over to the other hand, thereabouts. So again, you use your thumb to gently press along this line. This activates the pancreas, the liver, and a bit of the spleen as well on this side. Then you just want to gently bring your fingers together and you can notice an indentation in the middle of your palm. So breathe in and as you breathe out, gently press upon this point with your hand relaxed. Again in, out, in, out, on the other hand. And then I like to give extra focus on this point. Now this is the around the middle portion of this most fleshy part. The thumb, the base of the thumb. If you press in there, it will feel a little bit painful, but in a nice way. Not in an excruciating way. And this is corresponding to our adrenal glands that control the release of adrenaline. 
corresponding to our fight or flight stress response. And then put all of your finger pads, the digit pads together and press firmly, gently against each other. Let's do this press and then release, pressing and release. Pressing and release. And this activates most of the head glands. And then you can rub your palms together to end. Or I also quite like to do this sweeping motion across the entire surface area of the palm. And I'm done. And remember, as you're doing so, you are remaining in the state of being open to connection with your body, which is in touch with the intelligent life force. And you are not sort of trying to manipulate or press anything away or out. I cannot emphasize this point enough because this has a tremendous impact on the action, the result of this action that you're doing for yourself. To quickly recap, you want to start by warming up the palms and then the base of the palm. And then you push across this line, which starts at the midpoint between these two bones here. And then continuing across the other hand. Pressing on this midpoint of the palm, which corresponds to our solar plexus. And then the midpoint of this most fleshy part of your palm. And then finishing off with this gentle pressing of the pads of all of the digits. Releasing, pressing. And then you may finish off with a gentle massaging of the whole palm. And you're done. If you could do this consistently, once a day, twice would be great. Just do what is feasible for you. The thing is to do it consistently. Don't sort of do it five times a day for the first two days and then never do it again. If you can only manage one time a day, do that. And do your very best to give your full attention to your hands, to this act of connecting with your body while you're doing it. So not doing this as like a side activity of watching Netflix. Your attention activates the healing mechanism that is built in the body. I hope this was helpful for you and let me know if you have any questions.